So if you have an Xbox and you want to personalize your console by changing the wallpaper, there's many ways to do it. There is a bunch of like free wallpapers already built into Xbox that you can check out. Or you can go ahead and set your own custom um, wallpaper. Now, one of the ways that people used to do this is via a flash drive, you download the image, put it on your Xbox um, through a flash drive, and then set it as your wallpaper. Okay, so with today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set pretty much any wallpaper that you want on your Xbox without the use of a flash drive. So if you have an Xbox and you want to just set a custom wallpaper, I'm going to show you how to do that right now without any flash drive, you can do everything on your console. But before we get into that section, I'm going to show you the, the wallpapers that are available on your Xbox, you know, that are already preloaded. So we're going to go into settings and under general, you go over to personalization and you're going to go to my background and you can do like dynamic background or custom image so with custom image it's going to take you to like um the the folder on the console and then that's where you would like um get your your flash drive stick it into your console and then you can set your wallpaper so as you see I have nothing in pictures so I'm going to back out and I don't think I have anything in downloads either. So yeah that's empty. But I'm going to show you how to set a wallpaper on your, on your Xbox. So let's go to dynamic backgrounds and these are built in to your um, console. So you have some for games so we have like Cyberpunk, um, this is Super Mega Baseball 4, we have PGA Tour, F123, this is EA Sports FC24, this is wallpaper that I currently have, and there's like many others, so you can just scroll through and check out what you like, I'm not really going to spend too much time on this because I know this is not what you came here for, you want to go ahead and get your own wallpaper. So for Xbox, we have some dynamic wallpapers here for Xbox. This one for me is one of the coolest ones. I think this is really, really good looking. And yeah, I think it's a nice um, dynamic background that you can set for your Xbox. You can also go to Abstract. And yeah, those are the wallpapers that you have for Abstract. So I'm going to back out of this. You can also, I think, set achievement art for like wallpaper. We'd have to go through your games and find that. It's a bit cumbersome. But we're going to go and we're going to open Microsoft Edge. And you can like web search anything that you want. So for me, I'm going to like do... Um, let's do Demon Slayer wallpaper. Because I do like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer Wallpaper. And this is one of my favorite animes. And I'm going to do 4K. 4K. search that and we're gonna go over to images and I'm just gonna pick one uh, what to pick what to pick or maybe what I could do is I could go back and I could go to a website because I can do it from here so for example this okay this is actually 4k I could do this one so I could do this as a wallpaper. So what I do is I would press the start button and then I would select right here where it says set as background and I would click that and then it would set it as my Xbox background. So you get a notification that says background set. So hold on. Whoa. 
um, home and now you're gonna see my new wallpaper so that is now my wallpaper for my xbox we're gonna um, do it again because that one's ugly <laughs> the art is so low quality on that so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna find another one I'm gonna go to a uh, wallpaper website This one isn't bad. We got the whole team. We got Tanjiro, Zenitsu, that big boy, and Nezuko. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I like that one. Okay, we're gonna do this one. This one's not bad. So I'll click on the image. I'm gonna close this ad. And we're gonna select the resolution, I think, on this website doesn't allow me to so this is 1920 by 1521 not the best aspect ratio to be honest so I'm not gonna go with this one let me see if I can find something else a different website to choose wallpaper from okay so wallpaper flare let's do this one Zenitsu is my guy. So we're gonna find one that looks really good. Because who knows, I might just keep it as my permanent wallpaper. Oh, this. This is it. So that's add. Let's go back. This is what we want. So it's 1920 by 1240. So this is not 4K, but we're gonna set this as wallpaper. So press the start button, set as background, give it a few seconds. There we go. So now we're gonna go home. And wallpaper is set. Now it's not scaled properly. Maybe if I load the image up. It's not scaled properly it's a bit pixelated but you get the gist of it like any wallpaper that you want to set you can set um, on your Xbox all you got to do is open your ed edge browser um, Google whatever you want or Bing search whatever you want and then you'll be able to set it as a wallpaper okay, let me just let's try this let's just refresh the system And I think this is a really cool feature, you know, that is built into Xbox. And there's so much things that you can do with the browser. You can even stream like games from like GeForce Now. There's just so much you can do. So that just opens up, you know, the Xbox ecosystem to just a lot more things. And I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate those things. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what happened here. The browser just basically crashed. Let's quit it. Now let's see. So we're gonna go back home, quit, and we're gonna relaunch. Okay. We're gonna relaunch Edge, and like I said, you can set any wallpaper you want. And yes, all you gotta do is just go to the wallpaper, click the start button set as background so let me see if I can find another one that's like better overall because I want like a wallpaper that's like dope you know so this is a 1080p wallpaper this would scale um, perfectly but I don't want that that's a bit boring if you're a fan of Demon Slayer, let me know, guys. Like, it's really one of my favorite animes, and I I can't wait for the next season. That show has got me hooked. I don't know if it's the 
fight scenes, you know, the animation. But I love it. I think the story is interesting. It's not the best. I'm not gonna lie. I think what does it for me is the amazing um, animation. And I can't find anything else that I like. So we're just gonna leave it at that. So if you guys, you know, like this video, please do give it a like, share it with a friend who likes tech. And, you know, let me know if you try this feature out and if it works for you. Drop a comment down below. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.